the Rosa Mexicana just make the best Mickey Waffle property. Good morning, everyone. Princess and Bear here, back at the Dolphin Resort. I feel like we've been here a lot lately to return to Rosa Mexicana. For breakfast? Yes, we've been on a breakfast mood lately, so let's go in and get some flapjacks. Be sure to enjoy your mornings. You heard the girl. We like cute mini servings of. I'm obsessed with these syrups. Like, I, I, this is not practical to have at home, but I kind of want like these at home. And it's got the little dolphin swan symbol on it. How cute is that? I'm so here for this. It's adorable. Your only vegan drink option here for breakfast is a beautiful mimosa, and our server made it the way she likes it, which is thankfully the way I like it, with just a splash of orange juice. I am into this glass. This is tasty. Yeah, I'm probably gonna want like three of these. This is like a four and a half out of five mimosas. I wish they were bottomless. That's the, that's the only thing. Every breakfast place gets points down for not having bottomless mimosas, but these would be amazing if they were. Or they're just amazing. Attention all of Disney and Disney partner restaurants. This is a proper mimosa ratio. This is the twinge of color I expect. I don't want orange juice. I don't want mimosa. These are bottomless, we'd probably get in trouble. I might try to swim across this lake. Uh, 3.75 out of 5. I need more. More of them. We're not in the most challenge today, don't worry. Here we have a Bloody Maria. So, Bloody Maria with tequila instead of vodka made spicy. Just look at everything floating in that beauty. That is gonna hurt my soul. Or light it on fire. We're both. That's tahine on the rim. Ooh. Oh. Okay. I am on board for that. Wow. That's not like a subtle spicy, that's like spice. Like slapped you in the face with a tortilla level spice. 4.5 out of 5 dollars. This has to be probably one of the best Bloody Marys about our property, but Dolphin has always been very good at Bloody Marys. You do have to ask for it to be spicy too. You do. You have to ask for spice. Get the spice. It's breakfast. Wake up. the moment I have been waiting for. For the first time in forever, I am able to have my own flavored Mickey waffle, and not only a, just any flavor, a churro Mickey waffle. Big shout out to Gluten-Free, Dairy-Free at WDW and Gluten-Free Disney World for coming here and finding this secret, secret churro. I am ecstatic right now. Cinnamon, sugar, gluten-free goodness. Now, usually it does come with whipped cream and milk chocolate with strawberry sauce. Now, only the strawberry sauce is vegan, so I'm going to dip it in the sauce. They also do have um, the cutest little maple syrup you can use too, but I got a strawberry sauce in it. Oh my, I don't know how I'm ever going to have a Mickey waffle any other way. The cinnamon and the sugar just makes it like, it enhances the flavor. I don't feel like I'm just eating cake anymore. And strawberry is like a nice combo too. 
This is unreal. I could I could eat like I could eat this all day. Captain America style. This is amazing. This is a five out of five. This is a Princess City's item. If you're not staying at this hotel, you should come here and try these waffles because it just made my little vegan heart happy. We really like the uh, Mickey waffle and Miss R. You guys can't hear that because of the new microphone. Uh, but Mickey's churro waffles. Definitely giving me Crystal Palace flashbacks. Come a long way from the beginning of not being able to get any Mickey waffles and vegan and gluten free Mickey waffles. Vegan Mickey waffles are not that strange anymore, but something like this I'm excited about. I do love strawberry. They're, they get that nice outside waffle crunch, soft and cool on the inside. I like that dense, gluten-free, like buffet Mickey waffle like you get, or the like, mini waffle you get at like Kate May. I guess it's an actual fluffy waffle with the cinnamon. I like the churro mix. <laughs> the Rosa Mexicana just make the best vegan Mickey waffle in property. I think they did. The five out of five balls, and honestly, that feels too low for how good that is. If you had told me it was a regular Mickey Waffle, I'd have no reason to doubt you. That is amazing. Now Mickey has no ears. But I gotta tell you something to myself. So these beautiful, cute little containers of maple syrup here, I had to try it. Now this syrup, this container does not lend you to doing princess style dunking, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to do a pour, but it's gonna be a small pour. Now I gotta cut it. Nice, beautiful waffle. Churro with syrup. Let's see how this tastes instead of strawberry. I feel like I'm a kid at Disneyland. You take me back to Charles, walking around, seeing the Superior Castle. Smaller castle. It's a beautiful thing. So small. I love, I love these waffles a lot. And the syrup is good. It's good with the strawberry. It's probably good all together too. My favorite Mickey waffle. Now, Rosamund's gonna have something for everybody. They have a traditional style American breakfast buffet with a couple of like, Spanish sort of like favorites when they get chorizo on the bar and make their own omelet, pancakes, all like the continental breakfast style things you get there. If that's what you want. Now, if you're looking for something more traditional, then a la carte menu. On the a la carte menu, those are all like traditional inspired dishes. I ordered a breakfast burrito. Normally, you order a breakfast burrito, I'm expecting something boring and plain. This is not boring or plain. It's a breakfast burrito with egg, guacamole, chorizo, pico, de gallo. And then breakfast potatoes. When have they ever looked this amazing? So we're gonna start off with this breakfast burrito. Like, look at that. Look at that squeeze, look at that guac. Look at that pico in there. The fluffy egg, the bits of chorizo. That's not your regular breakfast burrito, okay? Fresh pico, fresh made guac. I know that I'm not gonna guac for dinner. The guacamole burrito, made in the chorizo, that spice. It's a spicy burrito. I quite like spice. I give it like a two and a half on the spice scale, but it feels nice. But I was on Tula. I was not going to turn down an opportunity to make what I eat even more spicy than what normally is. I'm going to dump that on there as well. Generous, healthy. We're not scared here. Mm, that. Good burrito. It definitely doesn't need the chili water. But ha, there's no going back now. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. 4.75 out of 5. That is the best burger we've ever had. My only, only downside is there's not more of it. 
Wait, this is better than the breakfast burritos you've had in California? Yes. No way. Yes. I know the princess is upset right now because she claims to be king of the burrito, of the breakfast burrito in California. This is better. I would say I mean, she's going to be hurt by this. This is better than the burrito I had at Old Mendes. Ouch. It is what it is. Now, actually, these breakfast potatoes. Look at that. Look at all the whole, like, the fried potato. You have the cream on top, the chives, the green onions in here. This, this looks amazing. Look at that. Look at that hole. That falls apart. I don't even need the knife. All day, every day. Look at that. You haven't seen a potato that looks that pretty in breakfast in your dreams. I may have knocked on Rosa for dinner, but breakfast, breakfast is peak. Now, breakfast is walk up on there. No reservation. But if you're over in this area, you're doing yourself a disservice for breakfast. There's not a whole lot of breakfast places in the Epcot Boardwalk area. You have the, the Boardwalk Deli. You have uh, Ale and Compass. You have Kate May, which is good if you're looking for like a buffet style, but if you're looking for something a little bit more hand wrapped, I can recommend the Rose Mexicana. This whole plate, 4.75 of the five. And I don't feel bad about that at all. Rosa Mexicana definitely blew my socks off for breakfast. And I, yeah, I'm wearing socks. <laughs> Shout out to Karen, amazing server. Ask for Karen. Highly recommend Karen. She's not one of those Karen. She is the, the Karen. Karen. The Karen. Amazing server. Always like to shout out our cast yes. members, especially the amazing ones. She deserves all of the all credit. Of it, we had an 100%. amazing breakfast thanks to her. But Rosa Mexicana, breakfast, dinner I was like, eh. Breakfast, I'm like, yes. This is the place to come for breakfast Swan and Dolphin. They also have an avocado toast if you don't want the Mickey Waffles, the life-altering, amazing Mickey Waffles that I got. Yes, you can do avocado toast. They use the same guacamole that they serve for dinner on their avocado toast. So if you like that, it might work out for you. We weren't as huge of a fan of the guac here as we were at some of the other locations like the Maya, but it might be worth investigating. It's so amazing. If you guys try it before we do, let us know in the comments. Uh, if there's anything else at Swan and Dolphin you'd like to see us do or anywhere around this area, the comments are always the only place to find us. Hit that notification bell for the other videos like this and... We have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Taco Day. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. And if you don't comment, Bear might yeet himself into this empty fountain just for you guys to comment and then he will hurt himself and then he will still be looking in the comments for your comments while he's injured and not seeing any comments will probably be more sad while he's in the hospital. Am I one of those vloggers now? You should just comment. You heard the girl.